Okay, good morning, afternoon, or evening. This is Carol Earl from Bristol, Virginia. And today I'm going to show you how to create a post on Instagram. So anyway, I'll see if we can get this done. I'm going to share my screen with you first. Hey Tina, I'm doing an Instagram. Glad to have you here. I'm recording this for the moment. So anyway, you would go to your Instagram site, as you can see up here on my screen share. You want to click in any of this white area. You don't want to click over anyone's name or on the post in the white area. When this little box comes up, go all the way down to inspect. That little word there. Then you hit that button and you'll see all this come up about, uh, oh, I don't know, HTML and everything else, I suppose. <laughs> so anyway, once that's open, go to the top bar that's above all of it up here. And there's two little buttons, an arrow and these little, well, they're not squares, I guess they're rectangular. But anyway, it says toggle device toolbar. What you do is you left click on them. Once you have left clicked on that, refresh your page completely, okay? Now, once you have done that, here's my slide bar, here we go. Hold on, okay. So, I didn't get the little pointer thing. Let me, uh. Do that again, little box. Okay, refresh your page. There's my little pointer, you see it? A little round button. So anyway, go down and you'll see this little plus sign underneath whatever the post is there. Put it on that little box, left click it. And that enables you to put a picture or whatever else you want to put up there. I'm doing a blitz, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and use that one for the moment. And open it. And you'll see your picture will come up. And you can, you know, adjust it however you need to. I'm going to put it about here. Then you hit the next button. And here is where you can write the caption about what you're doing. And in my case, since I have this blitz I'm doing, I'm just going to take all of my information for the blitz, copy it, and I'll put it all up here in this description. Then what you do, oops, that, I guess I can add a location. Well, okay, I guess it's not going to let me. Anyway, then what you would do is oh here's the location okay bristol virginia that's where i'm at you don't have to do that but you know i do and you can see all your information is here so then you can close this bristol virginia and then hit your share button and boom it should post sharing guess it's taking it a minute so there you go there is your post and i always come back here and you know i want to read see what it does and in instagram since this isn't an automatic um video <laughs> i'll put down here testimonies and i'll go and whoops i'll go to grab that link for my testimonies and I'll add that in there so people have to click on these in order to get them and then here um, I put how come you didn't tell me you were doing this free, free just a minute free <laughs> Twitter lead I'll do it again guys machine and I put that address underneath it. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Here we go. Okay, so I've got my Twitter, except it's, here we go. This is the one I'm using so people can get my free Twitter course. 
So then I take it and put it in the comments. So all this will be underneath your post. And like I said, I put on here testimonies so they'll get, they can go ahead and click that link. And then here, this is where they will sign up, free Twitter lead machine. And that's about it, guys. And I hope that has helped you. Um, and I guess I will see you later for Twitter training. Guys, let's cancel this and go back and hit that link again, okay? Here. Hello. Thank you so much, Carol. Okay, yeah, go ahead back and re-click re the link. It will be on a new Zoom. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.